Stone. Stone. That's what you wanted, right? Nikki with that form, nigga. Yeah, do do they know I got the piss so. Nothing to rich, I hear them screaming, run, 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 run. I can see you watching, nigga. Little do they know I got that sound. Yeah, yeah. Little do they know I run the town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hm. Judge a man by the look in his eyes when you see him, man. Eh? You can lose that bread, don't lose that love. Eh? 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 Don't lose it, don't. Strong will won't bend no fall. But I will stand tall Bricks on my back like a laborer yeah. I serve it up like a caterer yeah. We all about love and you hating us <laughs> Bread's hard and they don't know Red bone, she won't go Best she leave when the bread go, go I remember waking up at night Thinking where mama at yeah. Grabbing Bobo out the bed yeah. Looking for her in the dark night Man, the shit that I seen Woo. I don't wish on nobody, but believe it made me stronger. Look at what it made me. Yo, Cam, you want to come out here? Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. Whoa. I don't know what that was. It's a tiny, oh, whoa. Um, ready for skirt, ready for pull up, ready for, whoa. <laughs> oh, it's above my head. Ah, there you go. All right, oh, you can't right. ruin that. That's a that's a cutaway. You. I was still with the out sound out. I, I, I always Walter forget. Walter has used it a few times when it's not. It's got Cause diarrhea forget, of the because it's just, soundboard. I, yeah. I know, it's you, not labeled. You worry about no, yours. No, it is. But I, always I worry about <laughs> mine. Um. All right. What's going on, man? You're back. How how you were? Where, where were you yeah, at? Yeah. Hey. Here? So th thanks for asking, man. Uh, uh where were? You? How yeah. was Montreal? So I'll give you a little bit of uh, my idea of an update. Dinner with my man in a G5. Okay. That's what okay. was going on. Okay. Took How was your G5 man? To Montreal. Uh, it's called jumping out the jet. Okay. Okay. Flew, whipped the plane like a rental all the way to to uh, Montreal for a comedy festival called Just for Laughs, Juste pour rire en français. French. <laughs> point. Uh, I don't even laugh anymore. Have. Saw some good acts, shook some good hands, mm -hmm. had some good eats, mm -hmm. and also had hashtag Poot. slamming vibes. Did you have that poutine? Yeah, I had po Dude, I'm I not like kidding it. you. I, don't, I was telling right. Jody. It's all right. I know. It's kind of like, like, but I was like telling Jody. Down. I really want to tell you this. You get a lot of bastardized poutine here. Yeah, it's like oh, I know. Yeah. I've never. I've never he's, yeah. he's had legit. Yeah, yeah. he's had legit. If I'm here, I'm eating chili cheese fries. And it's hard to find good chili cheese fries. I think shit on hard. fries is also overrated because, like, when we're at home, we don't Ooh. we don't ball out. Like, our bodies uh. are tight. We're fucking. You can't. Oh, we, if you want a but, shadow nah, box, it's I'll gonna splurge. look bad for you. Uh, you see what I'm doing right here. I know you don't do. This veggies. is a double XL. I was trying this to make you barely look fit over. Mm. You know? Legit. Yeah, but yo, we went to McDonald's at like 4 a.m. <laughs> McDonald's Canada. Wednesday night. Had a couple of drinks around the Hilton bar. You know what the fuck time it is. You know that famous comedy where all the industry See, hangs it's a out. Good, it's a good hang. Hit the McDonald's after. I spent, I kid you not, $48 on McDonald's. Me and Kyle. Really? What were me, you getting? Just put it this way. I went up to the counter twice because mm -hmm. we had four poutines. Because they forgot my ketchup. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> McDonald's poutine. Yeah, I know. Four poutines from McDonald's. Yeah. Don't it can't be good cheese. Can we look it McDonald's. up? Can we? Can Four I see poutines. an image of it? Yeah, pull up the McDonald's poutine. This is this is this is why. I, well, no, you wouldn't have done it either. I was gonna say this is why you, maybe you should have a computer, but you, no. you, you would poutine. not have looked it up. McDonald's well, poutine. I one, I wouldn't have a story. <laughs> but you can yeah, hear the story. Like Did you hear? It? Well, <laughs> it I mean, I asked for the image. Like realistically, <laughs> I mean, I asked for the image. So yes, I would have pulled it up. Okay. I really, let yeah, me look this. What if I had? What? What? That no. does not look good. Continue. That's a little that light on the shitty. gravy. Yeah, look at that. It looks I like would, a little bit of syrup on it. I would rather have chili cheese fries than poutine. Okay, I'm just trying to tell you guys how much <laughs> fucking McDonald's I had. Can we get to that? All right, $48 yeah. worth. $48 worth. $48, was, <laughs> 48 is, Canadian. Yeah, but which is like six, $6 US. <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah. So it wasn't um, that much. Four poutines, three sandwiches, um, 
Oh, sorry. Four sandwiches, nuggets, and p apple pie. Do you? I haven't had that sort of calorie intake since probably college. I don't know about you, but how do you know how you much feel? fucking food that is? Yeah, I don't even know how you consumed all that. Yeah, it's called not eating for like two days. Well, then just don't eat for two days after. You're good. Mm -hmm. I didn't. I couldn't. I was like, I don't feel like eating. I had so much sodium. Anyway, that was it. That's You're stupid. all plugged oh, yeah, up with this. cheese curd and gravy. Um, so I had poot. Now here. Now you're here. You're here with your LaCroix and your laptop like a fucking writer. Woo! Yes, we're gonna you had to get that off. I got a fucking writer. What's that drink? That you you're drink? That I'm line. drinking a monster because this Tremendous. is not. Oh. I'm not a monster guy, but this one's all right. Is it the It's all we fruit? had here. It is a pineapple punch. Huh? Or pipeline punch. <laughs> Georgia. Uh, <laughs> no, I Emily, mean, that sounds even more sus mm -hmm. when it's not a fruit. Um, then we got sponsored by Monster. I got a sweet hat, and they got cases of the Flav. Pink Flav. We're Why aren't you Yerba. wearing the hat? We'll have Yerba tomorrow. Because I'm it's not sponsored. They're not sending us shit. We couldn't even get Yerba Make to oh. fucking... Well. That show's amazing. Well, we're getting it. It's coming tomorrow. Yeah, okay. Like, the sparkling. We're just going to go back to the OG because the experiments haven't been great. <clears throat> $500 today. For all my little gremlins out there that are in the chat. For the take Today, I just want to say, start off by saying, please, the way to pitch us, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you have to be in the Adult Swim chat. That thing behind me. Not can't YouTube be on YouTube. Chat. Okay? <laughs> be in this chat ready to send links. If not, we're not fucking with the bullshit anymore. You're axed. We're putting you, you have to figure it out. Uh, Nalani's on the phone line. She's telling you too, so just please open them up. Okay. Yeah, I said to her, I'm like, be sure to tell them. And she was like, yep, I tell them every time. When you drink People that, don't listen. When you drink that LaCroix you, and have your lap, you just start brainstorming. You just start <laughs> fucking, <laughs> like, what page. do you do when you fucking start? So what it is is I build my own writer room. Mm -hmm. Start <laughs> thinking about story circles. I hit circles. Google Hangout, and then I'm like, hey, yo, Chris, what's good? I so got this what, idea. What, what if our protagonist uh, didn't go to the store? Should we do like a... Like a segment one time where we get some people in Google Hangout from the chat and they yeah yeah scene. sounds fascinating. Google Hangout. Why would we want to hang? It's already boring watching well, us. Let's add more boring people. To this. It should be know. a Jordy led segment. See, you can't just use. <laughs> you couldn't even wait. <laughs> I can't wait on any of them. I want to push them all. You yeah, don't. I just want it to be you up don't there. use them correctly. Oh, I do, but I I have to keep pushing. Them. You know, it's just like anything. It's like basketball. Like you have to learn. The, you have to learn how the movements. But and you then, know exactly when the where the judge shorty no, exactly. button is. No, She's I don't. Got away judgment. We we've added several buttons. Does it, it not say judge shorty? It on the does. Mm. <laughs> it's mm. a push this <laughs> five times a show on the button. All right, let's take a call. Let's take a call. Yeah. Hey, caller. Hello. You're on Dev Me. Can you turn down your uh? Your background? Hit pause? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Do you have a pitch for us? Yes. First off, hold on. Let's see if you followed instructions. Are you in the Adult Swim chat? Yes. Thank God. I hear myself. All right. Let's, uh, let's hear your pitch. All right. So the story is called The Roaches, all right? It's about a family of roaches, and uh, it focuses on the main guy, Peter. He's trying to win over a woman's uh, family. And all her kids are like kind of dysfunctional, and they don't really respect him. So the story just kind of follows uh, his attempts to win him over. It's like I kind of think he should go after a significant other that's more, you know, doesn't need her family's approval. You know what I'm saying? That can just. I mean, I'm assuming these are the kids <laughs> that are dysfunctional. It's like a single Do mom. Yeah, yeah, the kids are dysfunctional, and he's trying to um, Look, appeal to the kids. When you're chasing a single mom. And I ran over the kids. How about That's some well-adjusted roaches? Mm. Um, all right. Do you have a link, or is that, was that it? No, I have the link. Oh, um, no. I dropped it just now. My name is Z00T3R. You got it. Um, yeah. Michael Hurt Hurdle? Hurt Hall? Yeah, Michael Hurt Hall. And uh, I have, like, a short little teaser at the end right. on YouTube. Let's just check that out. I got to tell you, we, I, we've got a lot of roach pitches in uh, in our yeah. lifetime, roaches in the back. Hmm. For real? Yeah, a lot of people try to do like roach this, roach that. Did anyone ever watch Joe's Apartment? I know I, did. I didn't, but it was a show and a movie, right? I just saw. It's well, animated? no, it was, it was MTV produced it, right? But it, it was started a movie. On, like, I don't television. It, it, mm. All right. Did it? Yeah. Oh, so may, okay. I know that MTV it was made CG it roaches or something was it, or were they Jerry O'Connell? 
Or no? Yes. <laughs> Pull that shit up. <laughs> this is like a New Yorker. That's what I. It's the York. jazz. Of if it. I start hearing fucking. <laughs> I can't even read cursive. Okay, high top fade on the roach. Or he's Russian, either way. Oh, yeah. Could be Orthodox hat, too. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. Nothing really wowing here, man. I liked, I did appreciate the jazz. I think that's an interesting <laughs> angle to take on an animated show. I, yeah. I, I, I will give you that. I like that. But, yeah, it. I mean, you can tell us some more about the characters. Tell us about one of the characters that you feel uh, is kind of original to this show. Um. Well, so... There's Gene, he's the older brother. He's like, has his own vape shop. He kind of deals weed, uh, you know, on the side. He has, uh, you know, uh, All right, we got a bang the gavel, I think. And, oh, You're sorry. Good. I have said nothing. The first character is a weed dealer. All right. Yeah, all right, we got you, man. Um, we're, we're, we're having a hard time getting into this one. Maybe it's just me. Okay. Maybe I'm the one that's having a hard Trash. time. Trash. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you this bang the trash. Also, I just when you were following, we're when we're following such an optimistic character. I'm looking at just Peter, a natural good do-gooder who always sees the bright side of things. That's not the most interesting person to follow, I think, in a show. Okay, we appreciate you calling. <laughs> thanks right. for thanks we, for calling. Were you guys asking? We're if trying we to hang say, up on. Should him? we hang up? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. I uh, look. I'm always down for the hang up. Right. Remember, yeah. phone but phone? but we were trying to first say bye. In, yeah. Jordy started talking, so I didn't want to hang up on him. You're on the Jordy's board, talking. but you okay. are in he first place. He could have heard the archive. Yeah. Bad um, pitch contest. You're in first <laughs> place. Why don't we have that? Um, we could, Eric, can Eric, you sample me saying that? It's, well, we can't because we'll get sued by two chains. Mm. We'll send it's, his it's above me now. What happened to our phone bomb? Phone bomb? Oh, yeah. you guys killed it. Oh. I love the phone bomb. I hated it. It gave me anxiety. Let's take another call. I just like to have it if we're like really. Oh, over right. it, so I we can put that. it for like. I mean, we can tell them we're really over it. That's what happened last I know, time. But I mean, it's look, a fun, look, it's you got to pitch us something that we haven't really seen before, and I, I feel like we're following a roach in a family. Like the family and drama thing, like, how nope. you really. This guy gets man, one Lacroix. That's it's fucking uh, roll doll. Sorry, I mean, in, I'm curious uh, if she's like <clears> into it or he keeps. Take like, a call, please. Yeah, we can we can develop it. Hi, caller. Hello. Hey, how you doing? Oh, why did I say that? You, that's stupid. No, uh, no man. Don't, well, we don't, don't beat you, you... First of all, don't beat yourself up. Yeah. You know what? You're oh, I'm really human. upset right now. Congratulations for uh, calling. Dropping it in the chat. Oh, um, wait, so... what are you, a dancer? <laughs> yeah, please. <laughs> Come in, drop I it in the chat. I want to hear the sound of cheeks hitting the hardwood <laughs> you, right now. Is this Hot Girl Meg? low. Black. <laughs> Do you know who Hot Girl Meg is? Who? Hot Girl Meg. Did that answer it? Never heard of her. All right, man. No. Yeah, yeah, well, do your Googles. Like do your on, Googles after seems this. Seems like it's still Hot Girl Summer mm -hmm. over here. It is obvious. Right, yeah. I, I've never, I don't know what the fuck that is. That's People cool. keep saying that. It's okay. This, this anyway. looks cool, man. Let's get into it. Hi, my name is Nate. I make duties in my big boy pants. Today, I'm, I'm pitching What the Woods, a short-form family sitcom featuring the Woods family. The main characters include Dad, the head of the family, Chevy, an obese mama's boy, Mom, a shrill nag, Rex, the youngest and most reasonable member of the family, despite the fact that he wears a dinosaur hood, whoever this is, and the family cat, who may or may not be, but definitely do be possessed by a cat. I mean, a uh, ghost. Might be a ghost cat, I don't know. The show follows the family through their daily struggle to get anything done as they get in the way of each other's goals. It takes place around my house. Or, that, that might break immersion. Uh, it takes place in a suburban neighborhood called Neighborhood, where less than suburban neighbors and creatures take up residence. History lesson. I actually started the series on Vine. R.I.P. Gosh, what? Downloaded and then subsequently lost all of the old footage, then just recently started making new episodes on my Instagram story after leaving the woods in a box for three years. Side note, if the show were to be picked up, it would be shot horizontally and not vertically like it is right now. Episode 1, new pet. Dad brings home a new pet for the family, forgetting they already have a cat to support. Realizing they're too poor to afford feeding it, the family argues about the proper way to handle getting rid of the new animal, prolonging the problem. Episode 2. Vacation. Mom insists the family doesn't spend enough time together and demands that they go on a vacation. Unable to afford to go anywhere fancy, Dad takes the family to local hotspots like their backyard and a local trash bin, despite Rex's suggestions for more suitable location. Episode 3. 
divorce. Fed up with his inability to provide for the family, Mom threatens to leave Dad if he isn't able to get her the ultimate knickknack. With his bank account already drained, Dad has to work on a strange special project to afford keeping his wife. With Mom already looking for a new man, Chebby steps in to try and steal her away from his own father. In What the Woods, the opportunity for new, strange, but relatable situations to arise is only limited by what I can find in the world around me, which is more than you would think. So would you kindly give me the bag? You have to admit the premise is more than just okay, and even though Elm pining pretty hard, and you may be sick of more content shot on a common camera Ooh. phone, I'll spruce this project up Fuck yeah. you, and also probably won't work. Oh. I love you. This has been a pitch to all swims development meeting. If you like this and want to see more, follow Sketchnate on Instagram and YouTube. Tree bars. A yeah. like and subscribe. Yeah, boy. Didn't we get uh, tree puns on another show? Remember? I feel like I actually saw that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think someone was and having then... sex with a tree. Oh, oh. yeah. There's some tree puns. So you... S- she's I mean... asked, she's calling you a cheat. No, I'm not. Oh, okay. It's just one all right, one. take <laughs> us through it. Do you want me to open up the Bible? Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it's kind of like a typical family sitcom, but not really. The uh, Like the video said, Chebby is, like, grossly obsessed with his mom. Uh, the dad is just kind of goofy and always trying to do what's best, but he's not great at it. And then he's got, like, you know, he ignores his sons. He doesn't, he doesn't really acknowledge them. And I don't know, it's just kind of, I mean, you can see the mom's kind of gross. Uh, I mean, it, the 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 way it was pitched, the video is pretty cool. You, you use the adults mm-hmm. and stuff. If it, it it feels like I think it was on Vine. It feels. There's a short. Let's watch it. I can't believe we were asleep for so long, family. No, no Dad, we were in a box. A what? A a box? What's that? It's where you keep things you don't want to keep anymore. Who would put us in a box? It's kind of cute. Which is is not the worst thing to be. It, it it mm. it's tough to see it fitting with us a little bit. Like, uh, yeah, it's a pet. What kind of pet? Um, meh. I'm not sure. Dad, we already have a pet. What pet? Meow. Oh shit. Husband, we can. Sorry, go for it. I that's. Uh, no, you could, yeah, you say something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the premise I don't know. Is... Looks cool. I like the art. Looks cool. This guy reminds me of Baby Cake. Shout out Baby Cakes. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, baby China Ill fans. This is like the what was that movie that where the wild things are? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you got like a fucked oh, yeah. up Super Jail, and then you got. I love Super Jail. Um, yeah. So to be honest, it's more about the way the characters interact with each other than the writing, because all the the things I shot were just like. Like, I didn't even think about it beforehand. It was just as I was doing it. So it's, I see it more as a pitch of the characters than the right. the actual no, what a, I've written. It's a good way to go about it. The jumping I, off points, though, I mean, like, I, I'm fine with having a paragraph to tell us where it's going, but it, they do feel a little thin and could kind of go over, wherever. I kind of wish you, I saw a little more choices you made for each scenario. Well, he only had. Sure. He's only has so much time too. No, I would not say, for film. What's I'm their thing? Like, it. what? What is? What are? What do they do as a family? They regular family shit, or are they? I mean, it would it would be kind of like, uh, you know, the regular family shit that turns into like crazy stuff that a regular family can't do. I mean, that'd be the point of a cartoon family, right? Damn, I guess so. Why did I ask? Right. Um. <laughs> Um, we'll check out these episodes, but we'll throw you on the board. I think you're number one as of now. Appreciate you calling. That video was great. I like the YouTube uh, energy in that. It was very clear and to the point. So thank, thank you. you. Yeah. All right, man. Cool. Check back for your bag appointment. Mm. What do you think, guys? We having a good time? Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. Well, then that means we should take another call. What's up? Caller. Hello. Hi. Hey, it's uh, Nicole Miller, Rainbow Unicorn Poop. Hey. What up? Hey, I have a pitch for you today. Let me drop the link in the chat. Are we Um, ready? It is an 11 minute animated series that is a Rainbow parody with Silence of the Lamb elements. 
um, involving cloned unicorns starring a war veteran named Rainbow. Okay. I got it open so, here. <clears throat> a bit of backstory. After scientists cloned a unicorn found frozen in the ice, they quickly learned that the unicorns should have stayed extinct. The unicorns quickly repopulate the Earth and try to take over the USA. A civil war breaks out, but the unicorns are more formidable opponents than originally thought. The war ended when the U.S. signed a peace treaty with the clones agreeing to coexist. And our story starts when Rainbow, a highly decorated unicorn, unicorn war veteran, is called to the Pentagon for an urgent meeting. Once there, he is informed that some humans have gone missing in a unicorn town and meets a war prisoner and informant named Nibble, the animal-like character, <clears throat> who, while strapped down in a straight jacket and mask, hints about the inner workings of a rebel group led by a unicorn unlike the rest. Uh, Rainbow accepts a mission and travels to the town. And that kind of is when the um, parody of the first Rainbow starts. So. Okay. So we're, what do you mean by the parody of the first? Uh, so Rainbow's going to go into this town. And um, if, have you ever seen uh, First Blood? Rambo, First Blood. Yeah, like, yeah. That's the first one, right? Rambo's yeah. fighting the cops. Uh, I've never seen it. <laughs> right. So he's going to go into this town that has, like, been designated as, like, a unicorn. Oh, you meant the first and... Rambo. Okay, sorry. Got it. Yeah, but go for it. And, uh, oh, did I say Rambo? Sorry. I've been kind of mixing the two in my head. Um, no, I'm following. <laughs> the, uh, so he's going to go into this town and basically, like, uh, gonna go under as a spy so he's supposed to he's given this mission to just observe the town there's been a couple missing people the Hannibal Lecter character Nibble uh in hints at the coup so that's what sets off the mission and so he's gonna go into this town and you know try to see what's going on but once he gets there he's gonna be stopped by the unicorn sheriff and uh the, the sheriff will tell him to get on his back and walk him through town and and be kind of a racist asshole to him and drop him off. And then that's when he turns around and gets arrested and then, you know, starts fighting them based on his PTSD from the Uni Uniclone Wars. So um, that would be the first season um, would be. And I'm sorry. I'm, 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 what's, it, what's the the main character's personality? It's like. It's, she's he's nice. like, a, he's a, he's an old war veteran. Uh, and he's basically like. This, you know, he's an emotional being, but he's been trained to be a killing machine and, you know, has PTSD um, from, you know, the Rainbow right. Unicorn Wars. Right. So, I mean, it's interesting, I guess, juxtaposition. Potation? No. Juxta. Juxta. Potato. Potato. Juxta. Potato. Uh, but outside of that, I'm not saying it's just like, oh, that's a cool juxtaposition, but I'm not, I'm not. Like with with the character, it's like oh, it it it's Rambo or it's Sylvester Stallone ish. Um, I'm well, for it's more. gonna be more like he's a uh, basically every time he's told to you know be chill and on the down low, he's gonna be insanely destructive and and murderous and um, <laughs> I, all right. acting out on his PTSD. I would I would say that's the classic way to make that character. Um, yeah, it's expected. You know, you have something here. I don't know exactly how the unicorn shit plays into the world, but I'm just going to say, if you're going to take a war hero, flip it. Yeah, which you, which you usually do a, a really good job of when you when you con. This one feels more like, oh, the, it was the concept, and we're missing, like, the guts a it's little like bit. It's like the parody. Yeah. You need, need to move Well, I was away. thinking that at one point um, in – the interaction in the original Rambo, uh, he basically takes down all the cops and, is, and tells them to just leave him alone. So I was thinking he could take down all the cops, tell them, you know, just let it go. And then uh, and then all the horses are like, or all the unicorns are like, yeah, okay. But then instead, when they turn around and, you know, walk away, uh, Rambo starts like another war with them, like as soon, just because they let him go. So he's kind of like, he is kind of... Um, or just a destructive right. person, but right. Mm -hmm. All right, all right, we got it, we got it, we got it. We got um, it. We'll Fart you... for me has a great question. Uh, 
Has anyone worked on this project, served in the armed forces personally? Yeah, my little brother. And he works on this show? The yeah, project. he's been he's been helping me write it, yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, he's a, a Navy vet. Great. Well, so. it seems like it's, you know, coming from a place of uh, knowledge. That's always a great place to write from. Well, um, all right, we're going to put you on the board. Okay, cool. Thanks. Yep. You have a good day. Bye. Thank you. Thanks. Where on the board does that fall? We got Pull up the what the woods. We got the roaches. We got silence of the. Uniforms. I like the I like the family one a little bit better. Mm -hmm. Right. Did you like the roaches a little bit better? I like this better than the roaches. This is this I, is I just this. The roaches. Yep. Yeah. This better than roaches. All right. Yeah, I mean it's it's it's. Uh, I got roaches out. in the kitchen. Have you heard that song? Roaches in the kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> Who sings that? I don't know. I saw it on the internet. A long time ago. <laughs> on the this internet. Is Babe, babe, get up. There's roaches in the kitchen, babe. There's roaches on the dishes, babe. You gotta go clean up. Ro roaches in the kitchen. Roaches in the kitchen. Let me see you move your feet. Like She's roaches exhausted. in the kitchen. <laughs> roaches on the dishes, babe. There's roaches on the dishes. Let me see you move your hands. Like roaches on the dishes. Roaches on the dishes, girl, there's roaches on the dishes. I can't eat my she food because there's roaches on the dishes. I mean, I would dishes. think it's wild. Roaches in the kitchen, babe. There's roaches in the kitchen, y'all. Roaches in the kitchen. Damn, the kids go nuts, too. Let me hey. see you move your feet yeah. like roaches in the kitchen. Would you like to wake up like that to do chores? <laughs> <laughs> chores that I know I'm not assigned to? No. Absolutely oh, you don't not. think she was assigned to that no, chore? No, I don't think so. I think it's a communal house. Do you, what are your chores at home? Right. Um, I'm assuming it's very communal. Yeah, they actually are. Like, kind of kitchen. Like, if you see a mess, clean it up kind of situation. That's not a, maybe she that's saw not the way. I clean up, like, my dog, like, the backyard. So I'm in charge of, like. So you you do the shit. Trash. Your shit duty. Mm -hmm. Trash. Shit handling. How'd you get that one? I feel like that's <laughs> passed on to the younger. Yeah, I mean, but it's, it's just still my dog. Oh, it's your dog. Got mm -hmm. it. That's my dog. That's my dog. That's my dog. That's you my dog. You ever sing that to your dog? No. Uh, <laughs> right. That's fair. There must not be a lot of love with this dog. <laughs> I just don't see Because when I see any of my dogs, I'm like, <laughs> that's my dog. <laughs> uh, all right. I'm a little uninspired today. Somebody better I'm step sleepy. up. I'm <gasps> sleepy. Got halfway through. Come out there. Baby, stop yawning. Let me get serious now. Uh, yeah, they actually are, like, kind of kitchen, like... Oh, oh that's just... Yeah, it's like, who is this? Yeah, let's relive our conversation. Oh, that was Jordy. <laughs> Play it back. It's like, who is this? Do you mind turning down your... That horrible voice. Our voices? I don't know what you're talking about. Monotone. There's no... Oh, there's there's nothing on there. <laughs> okay. You don't know what... Who's talking about? You guys are talking about noise, this background noise. I don't hear it. I don't... I don't know what you're, you're talking about. First of all, I don't know what you're talking about, <laughs> sir. <laughs> Hello. Okay. Okay, fine. Look, <laughs> what's going I on? I have a show. It's a new show. Hell yeah! Do you know okay, what you're talking about? Hold up, real quick, real that. quick before you tell us about this new show. If it was an old show, mm -hmm. <laughs> which what, what show do you think would fit on Adult Swim that we don't have? If it was not a new show, if well, you're like, it's very close to an old show. It's um, Little House it's on like the... a game show. It's like a game show. All right. All right, what you guys don't have a game show. I mean, you were pretty close with Xavier, but what? You know, this, like this, is, this is close. Xavier was a game show. It's close. To it's, oh, like game, like it's video gaming. Like, one, yeah. like video gaming. Or do you mean? No, no. It was like a psychological game. <laughs> All right. Like that brain game show. You're right. We don't. Okay. You, yeah. Look, the reason we don't have a game show is because uh, they don't replay necessarily super well. But we're not against it, so let's hear about it. Let's 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 you know. Have you ever watched? Jordy's been of... watching the shit out of Love Island, and it got picked up for season two. I don't know. You ever see old episodes of uh, Family Feud when Richard Dawson is just drunk as hell? No, no. it's People incredible. Watch. No, I got whole friends. Whole family dedicated to reruns of Family Feud. Shut That's up. real. All right, People tell us about this fucking walk, game yeah, show. Can we play through, the game? Walk us through the show. Okay, look, it's like a variety show. Mixed wow. with like a music show. Oh, this shit is going down, bro. A, a variety show. show with music. 
Um, it says he has I have a, a link. Yeah. All, All right, cool. just send the link, please. It's been I'll seven have a minutes. Trailer. I have a lot like of problems uh, uploading it. Oh, like fuck. Um, Fucking. So you, is this a SoundCloud? A SoundCloud link. Um, <laughs> what? Is, what? Is, <laughs> why do you have problems uploading? <laughs> pacing the list. The price is right. It's Tori. My name is Tori. Toro. <laughs> what is this? Damn. Damn, man, I'm just trying to figure out... All right, I don't know why I'm playing this. What is going on, man? <laughs> we don't know what... What do you mean? That's the show. <laughs> well, Cam stopped it. I don't know. I, do you have a document? It's like one and a half long. It's like pretty good. Okay. I don't know why. What's Bro, I don't the, care who you are. What are we watching? Like that. What is the show about? <laughs> I need to use that one more. <laughs> <You know? laughs> yeah, do you have a log line? Um, I don't know what that means. I don't know what you just said. All right, man. We go. I'm gonna put this SoundCloud. I'm on SoundCloud every day. <laughs> I'm gonna put this. Uh, I'm gonna like it and I'm gonna listen to it mm -hmm. in the future. But you're not doing a good job selling this, man. You said it's a game show and it's a variety of games. Like what? That's the Price is Right. You want us to do the Price is Right? They already, yeah. Do you want us to guess what Steve Harvey I doesn't mean, have a comment on and just what smile he's gonna do when you say the word penis? Mm. Huh? <laughs> Is that what we're on? What? Is that he's what gonna we're on? Do this, he's gonna do that. All right. Somebody Let's says go. the word I fucking think, I think you're nice. boobies, I think, and I, Steve Harvey goes. Let's get another. <laughs> it's a family a, show. It's a family Cam. show. He's like, whoa. No, all right. it's all innuendo now. Have you, have you seen an episode yeah. recently? Just, I feel like most. It is. So, where where, where, where are you from? Are you are you an avid game show watcher? It's oh, long, no, I, I hung up. We hung up. It's Longmont Potion Castle. That's who called. We're gonna be fucking fucked with now. This is good editing. Bro, I don't care who you are. I don't like that. Are those virtues? <laughs> All right. Let's do a... Hey. Oh, hello. How's it? You got a, you got a pitch? Oh, hell yeah, dude. So here's the thing. It's called Eugene Goes to the Grocery Store. And it's about a flaccid, rubber-skinned man who's so cynical and eaten away at the inside that he has nowhere left to turn. And he just explodes at these employees just trying to help him buy some items for his two baby dogs. Sounds like Jordy. Mm -hmm. That's, That's my this life. Is the That's break. my Saturday. Okay. Do you have links? I do. I'm in your chat. It says logged in at the top on the Adult Swim site, but on the chat, it says log in to say something. Oh, wait. Oh, for the love. I know, man. It's Your like sight, everybody man. who calls in is 10 years younger than me, and they still don't know how to fucking use the <laughs> internet. I'm like baffled. How? I'm telling you, dude. You grew up in the I'm, information age. It's unbelievable. So, You're Gen Z, and you don't know how to log especially in Especially if you're going to spend the time to wait I'm to get into the show. Oh, my God. All right, we can't do nothing. If we, ain't, if we can't access the link in that awesome chat, if you we got to let you go, bro. you clicked on to even explore what, I, what does it mean. I like your energy, but I do not like the way you can't log in. This is unbelievable. <laughs> I really want to hear <laughs> this. Get, hold on. If you, can't, if you can't log in, at least tap in. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> don't just start showing up. Tap in. So it says log in to say something. Why don't you just log in? I'm, I'm log in already. It says log in. Just log oh, in. Please. Just log oh, yeah. in. <laughs> killing me. Yeah. You're killing me. We're, we're, we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to say la vie. Um, chat. Oh, okay. Why don't you help this? Uh, help this caller out. I like it. This fool gonna leave me hanging. God damn. Help this caller out, chat. But we're gonna go. <laughs> Why did Jordan no, just no, no, clap? No. For your uh, for your pun. <laughs> I clapped for your pun. I was disconnected. It's like what? Happened? I know because I was like. Let's take somebody else. Yeah, I know. Fuck. Dog, I've been wanting to use this. That show's amazing. But I can't. No. <laughs> I can't even come close. Hey, yeah. caller, do you have uh, a, a way to log in? Hello? Hey, you. Are you ready to pitch? Yes. Great. Let's hear it. Uh, so pretty much I just dropped the link to much. the Bible, <laughs> and there's the link to the trailer. Uh, what I want to pitch you guys oh, is, is uh, a TV show. Oh. oh, okay. You can just you can just exit out. My favorite new character in development meeting is Surly Walter. <laughs> <laughs> is he still on? Yes. Hello. Oh, hey, Jason. I met you uh, in Montreal. What's up? Nice. Yes, he did. This looks like a fully formed. It does uh, look it like is. a fully formed. It is, and there's a. Did he pitch it to you in Montreal? 
He did. And did you say yeah, call in, or did he say, no, no, him, no, 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 you're not sent, getting Yeah, so he sent me a link. There's a full-on 22-minute animatic. Okay. Or no, pilot. Fully colored yeah. everything. Um, can, I, yeah. can I ask, can I request 30 seconds with Jason real quick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Jason, where were you at when you when you met Cam? Uh, it was a 50-minute pitch, pitch session at uh, the Hilton. And, and how did Cam Downtown. respond to your pitch? Uh, very positive. All right. All right. Let's uh What did Cam have on? Uh white shirt with the hat, I think. Did with, you with uh, the hat to match or was it <laughs> <laughs> I think it was a hat boost to match, with, yeah. Boost, boost with the fur? Okay. Apple bottom or <laughs> no, reg? No, no. He didn't have apple bottom jeans either. Did you meet with anyone else out there? Uh, yeah, one other person. Was what, there an exchange of money or gifts in order to uh, no, raise these no. kids? Okay. What, uh, what That's network? against corporate policy. What other, was it a production company, a, a TV network? It was a TV network. Which one? Which one? Fox. <sighs> okay. All right, let's, go in, let's get into this. I love, look at, look at in chat, X25 kilos, making sure everyone logs in right. Thank you. Thank you. Chat. That's all I wanted. Um... So, Jason, do you want to take these guys? I I know all about this. So, why don't we why don't yeah. we get the condensed version? How long did he bring corner you for? What? Fifteen minutes. How long did he? Fifteen minutes. They only let the sessions be fifteen minutes. Oh, oh, it was. But a yeah, session. walk us oh. through. Walk us through this. So, Porter's is pretty much uh, a half hour television series that chronicles the the comedic adventures of a group of low level hospital employees. We focused on one specific department, uh, the transport department. The setting is the hospital, but we all know that if the whole episode and every episode takes place in a hospital, it gets boring. So throughout the episode, they venture off off grounds. Uh, they meet uh, weird characters, celebrity appearances. Um, uh, at, in the first episode, there's some vengeful raccoons, and uh, they want to overthrow the porters because they pretty much flooded their lair, and then they want to like take over the world so in the first in the first episode the, the first pilot that we did um the the raccoons kidnapped one of the porters and cloned an army of them mm -hmm. to uh yeah, sure pretty much know. take it down but Thank but you. the porters because they put in a requisition to get handguns for protection mm -hmm. um it, it went through miraculously how we don't know and they used those weapons before their boss confiscated it to infiltrate the raccoons lair and uh, save their their employee. So Man. okay. Should we watch like two minutes of it or something? But yeah, yeah. That'd be is the me? is the link in here? I don't think it's in this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want the link for the trailer? Um. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'll no. drop it again. It's the YouTube link. Okay. Okay. It's right there. Cool. There's a hospital nestled in the hills with a story to tell. But not just any story. The story of the meat and potatoes of the entire operation. <laughs> the transport team. I have something to say. This ain't working. Since you're all here, I want the gun. No, I'll stay here. There's Poof Puff, your average stoner. Castles, who's a narcoleptic. Oscar. Well, we're not quite sure about Oscar just yet. Johnny, the short-tempered meathead. And Jimmy. Jimmy's the platoon leader of this bunch of monkeys. Oh, there's also the old Doctor and Macris, but we'll get to them later. And then there's Ryan. A raccoon who hides in the shadows. Eats scraps and watches the team blow themselves up fall asleep and Excuse abuse me. their patience, waiting for the day when he will finally strike.
All right. All, All rights right. preserved. Got to preserve. Yes, it was, it was copyrighted. Like Caesar. <laughs> um, so, yeah, well, so, I'll just cut to the chase. I, I mean, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll, I think you, because I've seen it, I would put you number one. Um, but I will, sh- uh, I have the link. I'll show these guys mm-hmm. the full thing. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you want to show oh. the fans or if that's private, but that's on you. No, sure. Yeah. The fans can check it out. Um, Damn, you got fans? How do they check it out? I don't got fans, but you guys do, so. No. I'm just thinking <laughs> back. No. No. <laughs> How would they check it out? Uh, What's your address? We're setting up a link. screening. All right, everybody go to Jason's house. He lives in, where are you in Toronto? Tape. Are you in the T-Dot? Montreal, Montreal. Oh, okay. you are, okay. Um, but yeah, uh, thanks for calling, man. Yeah, I think this is no, I mean, like, no he, he's, he's, he made a real thing. There's a lot of things It looks, in here it looks really The great. character, I mean, you, you, you know, the, the characters mm-hmm. do fit. Like, once they got to the raccoon, and I didn't know who the man, pressing the button was a little more interesting. I didn't mm-hmm. know what, he, where he was going to go with. It feels kind of comedy central, or that, what's the, what was that? It's broader, that but. Broad, that. Tosh animated show that he did. Brickle Bear. Brickle Bear. Yeah, it looks like something like that. Or something. But I think this is a good example. Didn't they like, used to call you that in Brickle Bear? Because it's just doing, doing. No. <laughs> bricks, bricks, they bricks, to, bricks, they, bricks, bricks. They used I to think, call me a South Park because mm. I would I would jab oh. and then I'll park somebody with the left. Damn. Just park. They used to call me Disney the way yeah. I wreck it and all this Ralph. Mm. Mm. Um, Dude gets one anyway. fucking <laughs> LaCroix, thinks he's Stephen King, thinks he's fucking uh, Gary Sanders. I'm not going to say what I think about this. You guys... You already did. It, look, I didn't. Were you going to take it back? And I'm not even going to talk about the project itself, but I do want to say that how this deck is formatted... I used to think that it was, was so a good bad. time. I did it because you were going to get I wish everyone could have saw the look she just gave him. I think the deck is well constructed, and it's something like that people should look at and if they don't know how to make a deck this is probably a good, a good example point. of it that's a good point and we do have we have a sample deck we have something. sample decks as well but how do you, you get know. to that on it's on adult Swim. Swim. Com yeah. yeah if, if you're trying to learn how to pitch it's there or, or you can call in and we'll walk you through it because clearly we will not walk you through it <laughs> that's what we it's anyway, too much what's, this is this is me what's going on guys it. what's going on guys let's, let's do another, another pitch what's going on big guy <clears throat> caller hey you have a pitch? Yes. How you doing? Um, so my my show it's a comedy series, live action, about two brothers who have fashioned themselves as modern day superheroes, but in a sixties style kind of Batman and Robin. It sounds like Batman. So they're and Robin. so they're silly <laughs> and they're bad at that. Right, exactly. Slap. Crack. Pretty dangerous. Bash. Right. But okay. it's, Go off. Right. But it's all modern. I already have. Stop. Stop. What? Da da da. You see, you that. get certain curtains. I was like, <laughs> colors that was, laughing. That was a Michael Jackson. So, so <laughs> what's the difference? Because uh, I know Batman and Robin are brothers. Um, but so the, 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 these these du- these dudes are fighting crime. Correct. Uh, in the hood. In the hood. The South okay. of Chicago. Are you saying the regular superheroes don't go to the hood? Mm. I never seen Spider Man in the hood. Spider Man's right. um, in the neighborhood. Spider Man. All right. Well, what what's different about this than ba- than Batman? Well, for one, one of the brothers, he's a expert martial artist, but he also that's not the reason why he wins all of his fights. He wins because he has an unusually large penis that protrudes from his extra tight tights and the criminals often get afraid and extremely bothered by it like, there's got to be some it. criminals that like that though right not all of the criminals can hate is he like poking holes in people with his dick i think they're just intimidated <laughs> oh they're intimidated oh. not horned Mm-mm. there's got to be some that would probably be horned though right or is that just not, not in this world they're not that's a question I for actually, you Oh no! There, <laughs> there are they are horned. Yes. So the 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 the, the <laughs> penis comes through the pants, or the <laughs> pants extend, or he just it flops was, it onto the sidewalk the, the, and people the run. Tight, the tight the tights extend from the um the the penis extends from the tights, and then it people just run away. 
they tr- they try to fight, but they fight badly. I can show it to you. Yeah, sure. Do you have? Yeah, do you have? Does he pogo yeah. stick mm-hmm. on his dick? Does he got a pilot? Oh. Why are we talking? Right. I have a feeling this is going to be animatic of just the dick just <laughs> shooting out <laughs> down the city block. Is, I would. We're going to get dick on the streams here, everybody. Dick on the streams. Yeah, That ready. should be a sound bite. Mm-hmm. Do you have this? The link? Where's the link? Oh, I'm putting Where's it up to you now. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the penis? Right. <laughs> I'm putting it up Wrong. right. <laughs> Now I'm fucking edging, waiting for this. Are we ready? <laughs> <laughs> is this you, L L W? Yes, that's me. L L. This is long. Dub- we need w- to edit w. that clip so it goes like twice okay. as long. Oh, oh it's live, a- it's live action. Live action. I didn't even think it was live oh, action. Oh, I was thinking. It. He did say that. He did say that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So what what yeah. place should we start at? What's the best? I'll start at two thirty five. Two thirty five. Two thirty five or ten. 10, 10.35. Damn, this shit is 27 wow. minutes. You put in some work. Is that where the dick shows up? Yeah. And I see Well, it. it's, it's gonna... part of a larger show, but I'm just pitching you the superhero part of it. It's like different okay. little... The girls and Rodney, I got you. Yeah. It's over, criminals. Your reign of terror and local business are through. We followed the trail of your heel guy and all the way to your head and there, and we've come to bring you to justice. Isn't that right, fuck boy? Hell yeah. Fuck boy? Your name is fuck boy? Hell no, he said fuck boy. <laughs> Sounded like fuck boy to me. She looked like one too. No, man, fuck boy? That's messed up. Damn, what, they run out of superhero names or some shit? He not even a superhero. He a tired ass sad kid. <laughs> Look, it's not fuck boy, it's fuck! Fuck boy! F O U G H D! Fuck boy! Where's his dick at? Oh, there it, it is. is. <laughs> That's not even that crazy. I think this is a. <laughs> Let's pause. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. What's I'm going on? No. Jordy wants to get a good no, 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 way. She She's, like, She's just grabbing her phone, taking a picture said, of it. You said. You I said. You said pause. Yeah, it, to it, talk to the. Yeah. <laughs> I can't get over how it I'm looks like Andre right. Grumman. The dick's not even that big. I mean, like for real life. <laughs> but oh, like not Kim in a super. It's not cartoonish. Um. <laughs> you think fucking that's big, dude? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> All right, man. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, no, I mean, man. There's yeah. something charming about how 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 it's made and how it's kind of like yeah, off the cuff. Well. So there's so, there, there, there's something there. I mean, we would have to watch some more, I guess, mm-hmm. to figure figure it out. It's not. I mean, that's not yeah. selling us. It's it's there, there's some funny stuff there. Superhero mm-hmm. been, shows are yeah. Have you have you have you watched uh, the? I just started watching the boys on Amazon. Have you seen that? You should check. Yeah, it. it's good. Started watching it too. I'm yeah. on I'm on episode two, but it's interesting. It's interesting. I mean. Look, we'll we'll watch some. I think we need to watch more. I don't know what you think, Cam. Yeah, we should watch more. I I mean, I, it's not uh, shocking. Cam to wants me. to know if that if that thing gonna grow. Mm. I'm just not impressed, my dog. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm he's a grower, Cam. not a shower. I mean, I guess if he's a you shower, bigger. Then, I mean, I was just expecting it to be like a thing Big where it's idea. like getting in the way of things. It was like barely getting uh-huh. in the way. Like like Brian Pumper. Why don't you cast him? Damn, Cam had samples for you. You know what I mean? <laughs> Cam gets one LaCroix. If we're gonna talk if we're gonna talk I genitals, brainstorming. make sure you hire me as a producer. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Get Cam as your genital okay. producer. <laughs> genital consultant. Alright, okay. thanks for calling, man. I think we have time for one right, more call. Let's do it. We got ten minutes yeah. left. Uh, I know, Does that but chart? Like a good amount. Uh... Yeah. Um what was the silence of the unicorns? That was that the was Rambo thing. Rambo. I would put it above that. Of what? Did you enjoy that more? It's, it's above me now. Of the woods? <laughs> <laughs> above the, the silence of the unicorn. unicorn poops, the the <sighs> the Rambo thing. With the, that thing? Yeah. Sure. Uh. Let's take one more call. When you said that thing, were you referring to the... <laughs> yeah, that thing. So it was called the girls and Rodney, apparently? Um... 
Yeah. Let's do a call. Jordy wanted to pause it. I did. I she did. She did. She stopped. She grabbed her phone and she was like, I said pause at the wrong time. I don't know if she wanted to look at it or she was like, pause. Like, no, I was like, no. She's the pause guy. I was like, what? No, I'm not going to. Pause it. Can we take a call? There's a double on time. You got a caller. Oh, caller. I got you, babe. <laughs> pause. It meant, it meant, <laughs> nah, stop. No, no, we're not pausing. Caller. Hello? We got you? Yes, it is. Is it I you, babe? You. I got you. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, so I'm Maxwell. Um, uh, <laughs> say your name is Juan, you're at, Juan Maxwell. Did you say you're, you're in high school? No, no, no. Oh. No, no, no. I'm uh, I'm 28, uh, 28 now. Oh. Okay. What Good was your girl. name? I finished. My Axel, it's uh, it's a kind of French, I think. Axel, Axel like, like Axel Rose. Axel Foley. What happened to us? A A X E L. That's a dope name. Yeah, that's a cool name. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, Axel. Um, so I uh, I'd like to uh, pitch uh, my uh, series uh, I'm working on. It's quite different uh, from what you have. Uh, uh, the other days because uh, it's more an action sci-fi uh, series, uh, serialized, and uh, there is a little of, of comedy, but it's not the main thing. Mm. So um, mm. I'm going to to mm. to put the link on the on the chat. All right. Okay. Mm. We are comedy centric. Comedy centric. Yes, yes, uh, I know. This is Adult Swim. <laughs> what? What's wrong? With... Pause. You know, you know All right, exactly. Axel. Well, I'm, this is called Axel shoot your eight. shot, right? I'm gonna shoot. Dragon and Weed Origins. Yes. Or wait, Dragon and Weed Outbreak. outbreak. I can't tell. Origins? No, Dragon Outbreak, outbreak is the name of the, the first season. But the name of the series is Dragon and Weed Origins. Okay. Okay. Fuck. I, this, this dragon this better seems... be baked off his ass. Yeah. All right. Tell <laughs> us about it. So, oh, uh, yes. In fact, I'm looking at you on the... On it's the delayed. So you're just going to yes, just yes. walk us through it. Okay. So... Uh, in fact, it's uh, so the series is uh, it's about two mercenaries that were uh, child soldiers uh, a few years ago, and uh, now, in fact, they are doing some missions uh, for uh, for the common army of Europe, and uh, so the show, like I said, is um, is more action sci-fi, and the the comedy uh, the comedy that there is is more in some uh, situation that uh, they encounter. Uh, and uh, the, their relation between them. So uh, there is uh, the, the introduction um, uh, video uh, on at the last uh, slide. Right, let's peep that. You, you can you can see how it can looks. Can we peep? And can we peep? What? Can we peep? We're gonna Somewhere watch it. Somewhere in the universe, <laughs> the Earth, <laughs> the cradle of humanity. <laughs> the planet was overcrowded because of the massive expansion of the humankind these last 50 years. Cosmic, cosmic, cosmic. Some men left their home to discover space, while some others stayed on Earth. Several conflicts have burst everywhere because of the water and raw material refaction. This is too dead ass for us. I'm just gonna <laughs> cut that chase. This yeah, is like... let, let's try to get one more. Should we try to get one yeah, more? Yeah, yeah. Look, let's try to get you one. clearly are a pretty talented person. This is, I mean, we're just looking for comedy shows. I think that that's the tough mm -hmm. part here. So call us back with something funny, and we'll and we'll talk. Okay. But you know, that looks tight. Okay. Very articulate. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Let's take one more. Mm. <laughs> Caller? Yes. You ready to pitch? I got a I got a pitch, yes. You got a video? I don't. Okay. Got a doc? Right. Yes I do. Dropping it in the chat now. Alright, you Space Lab? I'm Space Lab X, yes. The show is Marks. Um it's about the lives of about <laughs> sorry. Yeah, we're not a mark, is what, an, his, what he was just mark. saying. <clears throat> Go on. All right, the show is about uh, six independent wrestlers, not the big name guys, the guys that go from town to town, with their uh, and how they live their lives traveling from city to city, uh, wrestling in front of hundreds of people against people who can hurt them, with shady promoters, juxtaposed with their really like mundane day lives. Um, I'm a pro wrestler, and I'm an indie wrestler, so it's, I'm pretty much kind of writing an exaggerated version of my life. 
Um, so we have characters like the Mad Mime, this, this really over the top stuff, crazy road stories, promoters that pimp out their husbands. And it's a ton of stuff that's loosely based on reality. Mm -hmm. And this is live action, you're thinking? Yeah, live action. Okay. Yeah, I mean, we've got, we've definitely gotten this pitch before. Um, you know, what helps in this scenario is like you having that as your background, maybe like coming in next time with video that's like, hey, this is what it's like. This is me. Check me out. I'm like really like this. Here are some people that kind of remind me of that. This is every day. Or do you have one really good story that you could tell us? Yeah. Um, shoot. I tell wrote us down some fucked uh, up shit. <clears throat> All right. So there's this guy. <laughs> uh, this happened to me like a couple of weeks ago. So I was at a show and this guy came into the locker room. Where we wrestled with luchadors and I'm, I'm American style. This guy came in the back who was also a luchador and he came over and he shook his friend's dick instead of shaking his hand. <laughs> because, and then the, the thing is you go around and you shake everybody's hand and that's the etiquette. So he shook his friend's dick first and then turned to me to shake my hand. And I was like, no, dude, you just shook his dick. And then after the show, after I wrestled, I was shaking hands with everybody. And right as I was leaving, he looked at me and I was going to shake his hand. He grabbed another guy's dick, shook his dick, and then reached out his hand to me. Is this bare dick or is this just over it. pants? Oh, no. This was over pants. Oh, got it. Over pants. And everybody was okay yeah. with it? Yeah, you, the, if I had a nickel for every midget I saw pee and a, and a water bottle backstage, I'd be a very rich man. Mm -hmm. It's just story after story. Um, like I said, I have I have twelve synops uh, synopsises of episodes <clears throat> in this doc. Um, um, just take a, a glance at them. Okay. The correct term is little people, by the way. Yeah. Correct. Yes. I, I I apologize. One quick thing. I'm the guy that pitched mandatory You're news. I was not on coke. I was also the last caller again. That's why I was rushing that time. Oh. Uh, okay. Shit. Maybe call sooner. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, there, there, there's always some maybe to this indie wrestler world no one's ever really brought it to make it better than what wrestling already is in itself which is fucking ridiculous and all this stuff yeah. so doing like the Kirby indie enthusiasm to wrestling unless you got me Vince McMahon mm -hmm. uh, I don't want to see it yeah, indie just, wrestling the, what he's saying is shaking hands wrestling. with dicks isn't enough I, yeah I, I, I gather that but when you're when a promoter is sex. pimping out their husband <laughs> to keep the promotion alive, that's kind of a crazy thing, and that's based on a true story. Like right. the promotion was dying, so they pimped out their. How, you know, we're also how, in the tall place. Are, how tall are you, and how much? We do gotta, you we gotta go. <laughs> right. Yeah, we, we got gotta go. One, one minute left. We gotta divvy this money up. Thank you. Divvy the money. All right, this is where the the board I, was. I, I don't know if anything changed. I gotta here. be honest. Thank yep. you. I'm all about sharing the wealth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just seeing the work that Porter's is, has put in, it would be like, I, I don't know, it would feel a little unfair to share it. But. Oh, you think everything to Porter's didn't, it or, didn't or, feel too or, basic. Or maybe the, or the, it, first, the first two. It didn't feel like a board clear. I agree that it's number one, but it didn't feel like, oh, no, they shut, they shut down board the board. Clear. Well, okay. as somebody who saw it, I would say that. Well, so I, I'll, I'll let you have it. But, but, I'll let you have but, it. But you guys were just, this is... This is pitches, so I guess you have something to say there. I I truly don't really have an opinion on uh, these Big pitches. Idea. I know, I'm just tired. I, I, no I, I do. Let me tell Nothing. you the things Jordy didn't have an opinion on this week. <laughs> uh, once Upon a Time in Hollywood, no opinion. Yeah. What was the other thing? Uh, uh, I have an opinion uh, that we John need Legend. to be out of here. No, John no opinion on no. John Legend. No. I'll just get David up. Call it. Call it. Well, I, I, I would say... I would go with Cam. I would say just go 400 reporters then. Okay. And, and, th and then get the other 250. Uh, that's more money than we are giving away. Two fifty dollars. Oh, uh, two fifty. Okay, guys. Uh, math over here. Uh, uh, sorry. Actually, two hundred fifty dollars. Uh, I have my TI eighty seven here, and it says that that's not possible. An accounting like. All right, congratulations. Top three, you get broken that's off. It. Come back next Thursday, five p.m. PST. Get your shit together. You saw what it is today. Yeah. yeah get your shit together. And by the way, I'll stress again, you could win by just showing us some shit. You're not going to get the full amount like you made it, but we'll yeah. give you $100 just for putting us on putting to us some on. dope shit mm -hmm. that we haven't seen. Cam's seen everything on the internet. 
That's not true, but I, I like the internet. But impress me. if you. That's it. If you impress me, guess what? <laughs> All right. Till next time. I like they faded us like a retro spectrum. <laughs>